All right, so I'm going to try and scrape the eggs off the side of this. I'm probably going to try and use a FPOS card or credit card or something along those lines. I think they might be the best option, kind of like, um, I wonder if I can roll them off my finger. No, I've got a fat sausage fingers. I'm going to try and use a card first. All right, let's see how we go. All right, in goes the hand. Get my Mr. Whiptail. Get out of it, angels. Try and be gentle. Holy heck, they're sticky. Sticky, icky, icky. Ooh, wee. All right. Go away, angels. Successfully. Hey, see how sticky they are. All right. Excuse me, Mr. Webtail. We'll get your next lot. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, lost a couple. Oh, lost a couple. Sorry for the poor camera work. I was looking at what I was doing, not what was on the screen. Okay, they're in there. Straight into here. So now we've got them in there. Hopefully, there is enough water flow going through them to keep them from going moldy and gross. Okay, so it's day one of the whiptails being alive. Um, a very quick look on the World Wide Web has told me that the fry should be eating or can be eating crushed uh, prepared food and things like infusoria and stuff like that. My infusoria is not quite ready. Um, but I have got some food that I can crush up, so I'm going to do that to start them on feeding. So there they are. This is day one. They've just been put in here. They were spawned overnight, so a couple more days, and hopefully we get a few whiptails. I might try and put a few roots to the old Indian fern underneath it, which might stop some of the fish going up and under it. There we go. So in my bowl and stick crusher thing, I've got some NLS Algamax, a Tetra Pro um, Plicker Wafer, and some Macari Fibro Bites. So a bit of protein, a bit of algae, and a bit of everything just because I can. So let's crush this up. Can't crush things up with one hand, it's not going to work. Is it? Mm, no, hold on, give me a minute. So, in this case, two hands was definitely better than one. We are nice and powdery now. Time to feed them. Ah! Unfortunately, uh, it's attracted the big boys. Bugger off. So we got some in there. Um, it'll sink and hopefully eat it. Should be feeding them several times a day. Unfortunately, it is Friday, so I have to go to work. Um, that obviously means tomorrow's sad day, and I don't have to go to work. So I will talk to my lovely partner, and I'll get her to feed them um, every few hours for me while I'm at work. This is day one. There's a few in there. I haven't counted them yet. One or two little duds. So tomorrow I'll clean out the bottom of this as well and um, you get rid of all the duds and stuff like that. So it'll just be the living ones and we'll start feeding them up and hopefully they grow fast and we can go from there. So this is day one of the life of the royal whiptails. Yeah. All right, day two of the whiptail life. I chucked a couple of bits of wood in there. My mind behind that was, as you can see below, the stupid angel fish are trying to have a go, and at least this would give the whiptails a little somewhere to reside or hide or sit on or whatever to feel a little bit more secure, not having these big. Look at them. 
let me eat the whip tails underneath trying to suck them through so it's day two there's a fair few in there I haven't noticed any any floating ones or anything like that at this point which is good um, hatch rate I would suspect is around about was about 50% so I'm okay with that for the time being because I don't really know what I'm doing as I've never tried to raise these before so they're getting a concoction that I spoke about in the last one which is fibre bites, the NLS algae and the Tetra Pico wafers so I'm feeding that out now about five six times a day small amounts and yeah just did a big water change in this tank so the water would be nice and good for a little while as well all right until day three uh, day four of the Whiptails lives and they're growing quite nicely I think I don't know maybe I'm going crazy there's a few in there I'm now encountering how do I deal with this sort of wet sludgy floating stuff on top and keeping a little neat clean so something I need to work out the next day or two to keep the water quality pretty high in the little net for them and still having trouble with all the other fish trying to suck them up from behind although underneath sorry although I feel that it might be them trying to get the food that I'm putting in as opposed to the whiptails but there we are day four no deaths that I've noticed yet no fatalities just a bit of weird stuff on top all right till tomorrow all right we're well, day five of being live I've just fed out some vinegar eels uh, I'm not certain if they'll feed on them or not but I put some in there anyway I've still got to work on probably a small siphon maybe with a little pipette a couple times a day might be the best pip but I still haven't seen any mortalities or is that one in that corner there it might be whoops that might be one in the corner there uh, but they're all looking looking fine other than that one which I'll check in a second still going pretty well so I'm happy with the progress so far alright day six still plenty in here haven't noticed any mortalities yet at this stage they're getting the weird powder food three or four times a day now still plenty in here um, yeah a few more days and I might try and break up like a Novo tab or something like that and see if they're big enough to take that but that's pretty much all I've got to report on this day Day seven and we are well and truly alive. Still no deaths, which is fantastic. They visibly look like they are putting on some size, which means that I believe they're eating, which is also fantastic. Um, so I'm pretty happy so far. Still persevering with the powdered food that I made up. I might give it another week or so and then see if I can put it on smaller or softer tab or something, see how that goes. There we go, one week update. Happy days, happy days. Day eight. Going all right, I lost two yesterday. Um, both of them were stuck between the white plastic. Through there. And the net itself. I've started using this little thing to extract little bits of waste to try and keep the area just a little bit cleaner just like so seems to be working alright other than that happy days Day nine. Um, 
no casualties other than the two that I spoke about yesterday. Although there's that one there. Yep, so no casualties other than the two that I spoke about yesterday. Uh, the fish themselves look to be growing. You can kind of see their markings and stuff like that on them now, which is kind of cool. A microscopic grey. Um, yeah, they're growing fine. Still feeding out my little thing. My crushed up food. Um, I'm going to put in a slightly bigger but softer green pallet, I think, over the weekend when I've got a bit of control of when I can remove it if they're not eating it and stuff like that. But for now, that's where they're at. Alright, see if they've grown a third of a mil again by tomorrow. Day 10 gave me this. Pretty happy with that. Um, so I'll scrape these guys off as well and try raising them as well. So we have a couple of batches of royal whiptails hopefully coming up and through. So there is the male looking after the eggs. So I'm pretty happy to have an extra spawn within two weeks. So um, I might start writing down what I'm doing and see if I can work out how to trigger them every couple of weeks. And we might have a little production line of the royal whiptails. That's just a little bit of extra stuff for you. Day 11. No casualties yesterday. Definitely look like they're growing a little bit now. Uh, as you can see, there's a few more movements in there, which is pretty cool. Today I put in some JBL Novo Fect. Um, so hopefully they have a wee munch on that. It hasn't been in for very long, maybe a couple of minutes. So it's a half a tab, and I just quartered that, or half that again, so it's two, two quarters to a half. So hopefully they attack that during the day, I'll keep an eye on it, and if they don't I'll just remove it and I'll stick back with the smaller food. But if they do start eating it, I will stick with that for a while, because I've got a container of it open and it's going soft, so it's probably actually really good for feeding out this sort of size fish. Alright, that's it. Until tomorrow.